Hi, this is Kalina Kelly. This is my speech for Professor Newman's class. First off, I want to thank everyone for coming today. Throughout the course of our lives, we meet a lot of different people. Some people are friends, some people are neighbors, some people are co-workers, some people are family, and some are just the ones that we meet while we're at the doctor's office waiting to get into our appointment. Regardless of their title, some are present for a short time, and others are present our entire lives. Some have little impact on us, while others have made us the person that we are today. The individuals I would like to talk to you about have done just that. They have made me the person I am. They have taught me right from wrong, been a shoulder for me to cry on, and have always made themselves available to me, even if it wasn't convenient for them. I would like to introduce to you my mom, Nancy, and my grandmother, Pat. <laughs> my grandmother had her first child at the age of 18, and her second at the age of 28. She was married for over 20 years, but as her kids were growing, she became a single parent. Times were tough, but she never allowed it to define her. See, my grandmother has a caring and compassionate heart. When her mom fell and broke her hip, she needed in-home care. Without hesitation, my grandma stepped up and became her full-time caretaker. Not only was she caring for my great-grandmother, she also babysat me, which I feel bad for her for that. <laughs> she would pick me up from school, join me on school field trips, and take me to dancing school or cheerleading on the weekends. For all of you, all of you that don't know, I was an Arundacoit Indians cheerleader when I was younger, and my grandmother used to take me to all those practices. So, some information on that. <laughs> Even with her busy schedule, she still found the time to choreograph and practice a dance routine for my school's talent show. I remember practicing in her living room with a green and gold sequin costume on that she previously wore when she was a major up for high school. Although I was shy, she encouraged me to take the stage and made me gain confidence in myself. I also remember a time when I entered coloring contests. Oh, so many coloring contests. We would sit down at the table, I would color the page, she always made me add glitter to the pictures. She would tell me that it is what makes your picture stand out. So, what I brought with me today is an actual coloring contest <laughs> that I made with my grandma. And as you can see, she must have been right. The glitter must have stood out because I got first place on this coloring contest. Um, and at the below, below, I know it's kind of hard to see with the camera, but um, I was actually age five when I colored this picture. And I'm 31 today, so it's been a long time since I've had this picture. <laughs> As I got older, I started my own family. Now my grandma babysits my daughter. She is always there when I need her, and she is the type of person who would give you the shirt off her back. Her heart is rich with gold, and I'm so thankful that she is a part of mine and my daughter's life. My grandmother gave birth to the next most important woman in my life, my mom. My mom had me at the age of 21, and when I was young, she raised me as a single parent. Many times she worked two jobs and even attended school in the evenings for business for us to have a better life. Even though her schedule was busy, she always found time to sit down with me at the table and think of rhymes for me to memorize and spelling words. I went to a Catholic school almost my entire life. Although we moved, I could no longer get bus transportation. She made it possible for me to stay at the same school by driving 45 minutes one way. And don't forget, she had to drive me back home too. I also remember all the birthday parties she hosted for me. See, I started planning my birthday about six months in advance. It is something special for me. I like the feeling of having my friends and family gather in one place, well, of course, to celebrate me. Pool parties and beach parties happen every year, and I can't thank her enough for all those memories. Like her, I love to travel and visit new places. We have been to Tennessee, Florida, Texas, Nevada, and Alabama. Thanks to her, I will never forget my first time in Disney World, or my first time seeing the Smoky Mountains. I have a few photos that I'd like to show. This is of me and my mom 
It is on one of our vacations that we like to take. This is my grandma and my daughter Ariana. And like I said, they were very close as well. And this is a picture of my sister and my mom and my daughter. And this was also on a vacation that we took. So share a little bit about um, my grandma and my mom on those pictures. As I get older, my mom became diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. MS affects her neuro neurological system and it can be debilitating. Although she can be in pain quite frequently, she doesn't allow it to limit her daily life. I remember, for example, she had a spinal tap. If she was supposed to be bedridden for the next day or so, she was actually in the OR with me as I was giving birth via C-section, sitting right by my side. She spends a lot of time with her granddaughter too. She attends her dance recitals, specifically one today that was four hours long, softball games, and cheerleading competitions. They have sleepovers, and she spends a lot of the time in the summer with her. She is that person that I would call if I ever needed help. She is that person that I hope to be for my daughter. Someone to always lean on. Someone you can rely on, and someone who doesn't expect anything back in return. I am proud today to have introduced you to the women who have made me. I will leave you with a quote. Sorry, I'm going to get teary guy. <laughs> um, a mother is sorry. A mother is she who can take the place of all others, Ooh, but in whose place no one else can take. I'd like to take a moment to have my grandmother and my mother step beside me if I can stop crying. <laughs> Come on up, ladies. <laughs> And I'd like to give them a warm welcome of applause um, for letting me tell their story and also for being a part of my life. Thank you.